Uh, hello and welcome everybody to another Pop Science. Uh, this is one of three treats this week. Uh, so, as usual, this is called a toothpick tornado. The title doesn't give it away, so that's why I've said it. So, I'm Professor Raquel and this is our lovely... Professor Anne. Uh, so, ever important, as usual, is our health and safety. So, adult supervision with this one, as usual, with all these science experiments, even though it, we aren't using any of materials or stuff like that, we are using uh, certain things like toothpicks and scissors, so there might be sharp bits, so that's why I say adult supervision. Uh, as usual, we're using water, uh, so avoid slips, trips, and any falls. Uh, do not eat some of the materials, so don't try putting toothpicks in your mouth, or scissors or even washing up liquid because they are edible and we don't want any accidents. Uh, and last but not least is shampoo and detergent so definitely do not swallow because it's meant to wash pots or cut our clothes whichever way you, you want to do it. So now I shall pass you over to my lovely Anne to do the materials list. Right guys, so you don't actually need a lot for this experiment, um, but it is quite effective and um, some amazing results. So, the first thing you will need is a pan. So here we have a frying pan. So in this pan is water. You don't have it filled to the top, maybe just about um, half an inch, an inch. Um, obviously be careful carrying it from the sink to a work surface. Uh, any spills, make sure you clear up. So frying pan, with some water. You also need toothpick or we've used like cocktail sticks. So cocktail stick, but if you use a cocktail stick, you will need some scissors as well. And also some shampoo or washing oil kids. We've got the ever faithful elbow grease. <laughs> so uh, that's all you need at the moment. Um, it's to say, uh, be careful with the scissors, but you will need these if you are using a cocktail stick, which has Two sharp ends on it. Right, so basically Professor Raquel is going to um, explain what you do while I have a go at doing the experiment. Yeah. So I'm just going to adjust my cameras for you so you can see what Anne is actually doing. So that should be enough. Mm -hmm. So what Anne is going to do now, she's going to pick her tooth pick up and she's just going to cut one end of it off so we've got a blunt end. On the blunt end of that, uh, Anne is going to stick a little detergent just on the end, so just a dab of detergent. Within our water and our pan, you can do this in the kitchen sink as well if you don't want to use a pan, and all what Anne's going to do is drop that in the water but first what do you think will happen so just pause your camera jot down what you think might happen uh, and then see if you're right so i'm just going to do it now so she's going to drop going to pop a little bit more the toothpick in the pan of water so what do you think will happen right yeah. you ready And it's not worked, so we shall try that again. So this is our attempt number two. We've changed our water because you need fresh water. So Anne's just going to put detergent on it again. So what do you think will happen? Yep. I'll just drop it in. There we go. If you can see, it's moving from one side to the other. And that is basically that's a nice, simple one. So if you got it right, well done. So Anne's going to explain the science now of how does it work. Um, but we're also going to do an extra experiment. So while Anne's explaining, I'm going to get another pan of water. Right, guys. Well, um... The theory behind this is, 
The shampoo contains the agents that reduce the surface tension of liquid, which is the water. As the shampoo on the end of the toothpick dissolves, it reduces the water's surface tension around it, thus releasing the water's hold on that end of the toothpick. The water around the other end of the toothpick is, has, still has the surface tension, so it pulls the toothpick in that direction. So basically, you've got your toothpick, you've got the blunt end with the washing up liquid on, and you've got the other end that's got nothing on. So the one with the washing up liquid on kind of makes the other bit pull, basically, because of the water tension on the surface. So. Uh, what's going to happen now is we've got another little experiment for you, um, which uh, Raquel is going to do. And uh, this is a different version, but should work just as well. So here we go. Yep. With this one, you can, uh, if there's more than one of you, is have a race. See which one finishes first. So all I'm doing is pair of scissors. This is where adult supervision comes in as well. So I don't want any chopped fingers or anything. It's cut out. A bolt shape. So it needs to be just like that. And then while what we're doing is the same again, so we need to change the water each time. So we're just dropping that on the surface and then put it on on the end of it, a little splodge. And there we go. Whee! So you can have a boat race. Yeah, so you can have a boat race with each other. Uh, so yeah, so that's it for another pop science uh, from the lovely Raquel and little me, Professor Anne. Yeah. Uh, also, if you want, try using different materials and see what effects you can get. But make so, sure that you change the water every time you do this. Yeah. So goodbye. And it's goodbye from me.